Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel, thank you for joining us, ever happy Monday to you all, hope you've had a good Monday, the FA Cup 4th round draw has just been made, Barnes will take on Norwich City down at Oakwell in the 4th round, absolutely awful draw, couldn't have asked for anything worse, I hate drawing teams in your own league, the only blessing is we can't go and the bigger blessing is it's at home because if we could go and it were away, Bayek, that's a bad, bad draw, but I'm grateful you know, uh, that we are still in the cup. We have got a chance to get through to the fifth round, depending on uh, the Norwich, you know, they're, they're gunning for promotion, so you never know. There's magic in the FA Cup, so we'll see. And we gave Norwich a good game down at Carrow Road, so let's see if we can do it against them in the Cup. Um, anyways, news coming out today is that two championship clubs have apparently had offers put in for Alex uh, Mowat. Now, I read somewhere online that Millwall was one club who offered roughly about 850k, which were knocked back, quite rightly knocked back. This is our captain, this is our main man, this is a mid midfielder that's been one of the best players this season for us. You know, the glue that's kept the midfield together, the glue that's kept the side together, and he's out of contract in the summer. And we've been in this position time and time and time again. And if you look at recent history of the club, if you look at, well, it, you might not, you could say long-term history, but if you look at where you'd put your money in terms of the football club, whoever's in charge at this stage with a player like Mowat and clubs looking at him, it's looking likely they'll sell him. Now, also on this, I've, heard, I've I've read, and this report does states that they are after they want to hold out for one point two million for Alex Mowat. One point two million. Now, he's worth more than that. I don't care if he's got six months left on his contract. He is worth more than that. And people, uh, and you know, some some fans think it's a good business. And that, that's that's they they obviously think it's good good business. Of course it is. It's better than letting him go for nothing in the summer. However, can we not survive? Can, can, we want Mowat to stay. The football club wants Mowat to stay. Therefore, surely it can't be short of one point two million quid. If you get where I'm coming at, yes, it's great. It's good business getting some of that getting money for him now and nothing in the summer if he doesn't sign. But what I'm trying to say in this, trying to say is that the club obviously are wanting him to sign a deal. So do you know what I mean? It's like, well, I, I, I get it, I get it, and it is an hard situation to be in. And to be fair, we get stuck in this position too often. We get stuck in it too often. This position where we're having to. You know, make a decision in January, halfway through the season, which absolutely cocks up the rest of the season. Now we've heard, we've seen reports that Mowat wants to sign, and um, I've heard personally he wants to stay. He wants to say he wants that bit extra. He wants that bit extra. He wants to be on the same money as Woodrow. How true that is, I don't know. That's what I've heard. I'm going with that. And I can, and I've said and I banged on about in numerous videos that I think Mowat should be on. Either the same or more than Woodrow is the club captain. We have this situation with Brian Howard under Simon Davey. He wanted a bit more money and the club won't get him. And so it's not a coincidence. It's not just, you know, this board that that would that weren't this board that were Brian Howard. That were Patrick Crine. Before anybody states that I'm on a, on at the board, I'm not I'm not on at the board, I'm on about I'm on it. How we how we how we run it in terms of it. You know, that bit extra money, we're looking at these players, we're offering over a million for him from who used to play at Watford, I, I forgot his name already, who don't want to come here. Forget him, put that towards Mowat's contract, pay him that bit extra money. He's not asking for loads, he ain't asking for loads. He's a Yorkshire lad, he wants to stay, he's club captain, times couldn't be better at the football club, Valley and Ishmael wants him to be at the football club. So, for me, it needs to be sorted ASAP and, and we really, really don't want to be losing him. I, honestly, we can't be in this position because 2017 it happened. I'm not saying we might, we'll have a repeat of what, of what happened the year after, but certainly, you know, we lost so many key players then and this is a key, and, and that were a better side. That were a better side. 
I think we've got less key players now than we did then, and we lost three then. So I think so now mm. I think we have got less. I think we have got less, and he's certainly the biggest key this of this team. Not just the fact that he's the captain, but how he's playing. I sort of watched him on Sunday against uh, Tranmere in Cup. He was, he was, he was, he was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. He did. He, he was playing like he didn't break sweat. He was playing like, you know, he was think he was wanting the club to look at him and say, "You need to give me a contract. I'm worth that little bit more." And that's what I feel. Do you know what I mean? That's that's how I see it with Mowat. Listen, no player's bigger than the club. I get that, and we said that gets said a lot all uh, all the time as well. But you know, sometimes we've got it. We've got to have stability. We've got to have stability, and and I think at this moment in time, under Valley and Ishmael, it's the most stable it's been. I think it is. I think it's the most stable it's been for a hell of a long time, and it would be a huge loss. And some might say that you know players can step up, but you know just. Let's let's try and keep older as players. Let's show a bit of show a bit of fight. You know what I mean. Let's just not let him go. Let's not let him go. Let's you know pay him. <laughs> I can't stress it enough. Listen, we don't know what goes on in the background. We don't know. We don't know. But you know, from what we hear, you know, if it, if it, I can't imagine him wanting loads. He's a Yorkshire lad. He's from Donny, and he's here club captain. In the best form of his career, I would probably say. The best his current team is doing since he's been here. And we sit in a great position in the league. You know, let's let's not forget top six. If we get there, it's a bonus this year. But let's just, you know, keep build. And you start with your midfield. You start with that centrepiece and that's Mowat. And then you build on and you think maybe mm, how, how good this season's gone if we don't make it there, you know what I mean? Because I don't think we are just there yet to get into the top six or to even go on and get into the Premier League, let's be fair. But then you think next season, maybe we can, maybe we can get it good, you know what I mean? We've got the resources, we've got the resources, blah, blah, blah. And then instead of building a brand new team. Anyway, guys, that's my, that's my opinion on it. Whatever decision gets made... You know, if he, if he signs, you know, it'll be the biggest signing of the of, of the transfer window for us. If he goes, it'll be very disappointing. Very disappointing because from what I've seen so far, there's only styles I would say who I'd be comfortable with. Kane will come on. Irby Kane will come on. He's just not had a run of games. I think that was his first full 90 minutes for us the other day against Tranmere. But at this moment, you know, it's a, it's a no-brainer. He can't leave this club. He can't. He can't. He can't. Let's get the. Let's get him. Let's get him tied down, Barnsley. Come on now. Let's let's not be that club anymore. Let's not be that club. So, let's see. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. The best years, and I will see you very very soon. You Reds.